Azeto Corsa is my favorite sim. I love diving into mods and testing new cars to find hidden treasures no one knows about yet. And today I'm sharing my top 10 mods for the game. With one rule, only one car pack or one car from one modding team or modder. And you can find all the links in the video description. But before we dive in, this is of course my list, my personal list. And you might have a different opinion and that's okay. Just let me know which cars you adore the most in the comments down below and maybe try and tell everyone else out there why they should give your car a go. All right, but let's start with P10, the Volvo S40 BTCC from PM3DM. To pick a P10 was the hardest part of this video, I tell you. There's just so many good mods out there, but in the end, I decided on going with the Volvo S40 because of its unique driving characteristics. You see, there are tons of front wheel driven cars out there, several even higher up on this list, but none of them is as satisfying to drive like this one. The rear is constantly stepping out, making this car very difficult to drive at first glance, but actually there's a simple trick to get tons of rotation and grip that way. Just let the rear rotate as much as needed to have a straight line to the exit curb and then step on the gas. Done! The car will center itself magically on its own and you'll be fine. Just a stellar driving experience and for sure one of the best mods ever for AC. You should definitely also check out the other BTCC cars from PM3DM. Although the Volvo is my clear cut favorite. P8, the RSS Endurance Icons Pack by Racing Studio. The first big modding studio on the list and it's Racing Studio. The probably most known of the bunch in their genius Endurance Icons Pack. 12 cars, all of them great in their own regard and some serious gems included like the Lister Storm or my favorite, the Chrysler Viper. If you're a fan of the early or late GT1 era, this is the pack you must have. Sure, basically all of the mods from us as a high quality like the F1 mods, the free F3 car or their recent ventures into GT3s. But at the end of the day, those GT1 classics just resonate with me and are my favorite mods from them. P7 and this is the IER P13C by International Endurance Racing. And this one is still a hidden gem, although many have already preached it so often that this might be the most advanced sim racing mod ever created. Okay, maybe until my P1 came around, but let me tell you that this car was ahead of its time. The P13C used custom physics through the use of the custom shaders patch before anyone else and featured a completely different driving experience compared to all other cars that came before. Nowadays, custom CSP physics have become more common with big studios creating their own versions of this, but IER was the pioneer and they've created a car that withstands the test of time. Still a marvelous prototype to drive and maybe even the best prototype in the game. P6, the Corvette C7 GT3R by Chemflumi. I was talking about Chemflumi before, he's a good friend and he's a talented modder and I think this is his best work so far, at least for me. The Corvette C7 GT3R, this car has it all, the, the details, the sound, the handling, just an awesome job by Max recreating this beast of a car. Sometimes the C7, yes, is a handful, I must say, so some setup love is required, but I'm always coming back for this one whenever I need to drive a quick lap of something. It's just a superb job by Gemflumi and one of the many mods he created that is really, really good. Check his stuff out. All right, P5, the KDM Academy by Benno Bro. The next two picks spawned from my love of racing rather than the actual machinery. So my love for the sport, for closed door racing and cars that can provide that. The KDM Academy will hand you exactly that and has proven worthy in so many races for me already. It just, I just love this thing. I can vividly remember the Dream Team series too, where I made dozens of content creators race those cars for an hour on Brands Hatch. The result, a three-way fight for over 50 minutes and a photo finish at the end with Jardin in it, mega car in every way. P4, the Renault Clio RS Cup 5 by Advanced Simulation Modding Group. 
This is the next car on the list that provides a similar thrilling racing action just like Decatur and is one of the many car mods that were released this year. The Clio is from Advanced Simulation Modding Group that released the car first for R-Factor 2 and now also brought it into AC and this one is a blast. Just have a look at the cockpit's dashboard. It's so amazingly crafted and just like the Kadem, the Clio is delivering on racing capability, making every race with the small French battle box a contested fight until the finish line. There's just not enough power under the hood to extend the lead really and small mistakes are not as heavily punished, pushing the best lap times from drivers super close together, creating those special races. So, special thanks to my friend Fuso, who worked his butt off for this car. Amazing work. And then there's Fuso again, P3, the Cupra Leon competition from 2022. Yeah, I know, I said one car, one motor, but technically this TCR Classic is from Fuso alone and the Clio is from a modding crew where he's a part of, so this counts in my eyes. Because the Cupra really deserves all the love it can get. This is the best front wheel drive car and a blast for close racing. The sound, the handling, the model, everything is just right with this one. And you can't compare the handling to the Volvo, but you still get this awesome front wheel drive driving characteristic that needs you to think just a little bit differently in comparison to what you drive usually. Never had a bad race with this car, definitely check it out, it's just amazing. P2, the Dacia 992 GT3R 2023 by URD, United Racing Design, the second of the big three modding studios. And yes, there are many great cars from them out there that would have made my top 10 easily. But if I had to choose one car out of the list, it is this one. Just released a few months ago and I would say it's the ultimate GT3 car in the sim. Just look at it. This model is crafted to perfection. The sound is heavy and has a special Porsche oomph to it from the outside perspective. And the handling nails the Porsche rear engine driving features you would expect. This car is a 10 out of 10. Get this mod 100%. All right, my P1, the Formula Alpha 2023 by Virtual Racing Cars. Just like with United Racing Design, there are many superb mods from VRC out there, but their new F1 car that they just released in 2023 might be the most complex and most advanced mod out there since the P13C. Yes, this car has custom physics as well, it has DRS, a hybrid system of course, custom animations, different steering wheels and features an anti-stall system that needs an instruction manual to use. And I'm not joking here, there is an instruction manual how to use it. And on track it does everything right as well. Just feeling like a Formula 1 car should feel in a sim. High risk, high reward. And although the F1 is not my favorite racing series right now, Although I prefer cup racing way over F1, this has to be the top spot. It's just that far ahead of the rest. And that's the list. And here you can find my list from last year, including some other good car mods that did not find a spot this time around. But that's it from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers.